In lab, you looked at several different electric circuits. I'd like to describe how some circuits behave, how different components behave when you put them in circuits connecting in different ways. So first of all, when we describe circuits, often it's convenient for us to describe them schematically instead of drawing out each component in particular. So for instance, we could make a nice drawing of a battery and a switch and a light bulb and the wires. It's a lot faster and it's often a lot clearer because it presents only the things that we need to know if we represent these individual components by symbols. So for instance, a conventional symbol for the battery is two plates of uneven size. The larger plate is the positive terminal, the smaller plate is the negative terminal. A switch is just a break in the circuit that's got a paddle that can close it or open it. A resistor, which provides a resistance to the flow, will be a jagged line. A conductor is a straight line. This circuit diagram illustrates this circuit. The two major ways that we can connect components in a circuit is in parallel or in series. These, this illustrates what this is where the green boxes are just any kind of component that we can wire in a circuit. They could be switches, they could be resistors, they could be power supplies. On the left we show two components in parallel as current comes along this conductor, there's a branch in the conductor and some current can go through one and some current can go through the other component. When components are in series, which is shown here, one after the other, then all electrons go through both components, through one and then through the other. We explored in lab ways of combining different kinds of components in series and in parallel and now I'd like to review what we found when we did that. When you had the batteries, the power sources, in parallel with each other, it acted just as if you had one battery. You really didn't see any difference. When you had two batteries connected in series with each other, well, then whatever they powered, if it was powering a light bulb, then that would make it brighter. If it was powering a motor, it would make it go faster, something like that. The light bulbs. Putting a light bulb in parallel with another light bulb didn't seem to affect things very much. If, however, you put the light bulbs in series so that the electrons had to go through one and then the other, the light bulbs were both considerably dimmer than they would have been by, by themselves. If you put two switches in parallel, that formed an OR circuit, OR meaning that if either switch was closed, then the circuit worked. You had to have had both of them open to make the circuit open. So switch A or switch B would light up the light bulb. If you had the two switches in series, then that made what we'd known as an AND gate, that both A and B had to be closed to make the circuit closed and the light bulb light. 